their default plan of attack is going to be getting a bunch of exams and just kind of going through them in order and then getting frustrated when things aren't clicking. And to me, it's like understandable that you get frustrated by that because the exam is like a foreign language. And so just taking an exam, of course, the results are not likely to be great if you haven't learned the material first. Like you wouldn't take an exam in Japanese if you never studied Japanese before. It's not likely to go well. And the language of the LSAT, the the logic, the the technicalities there, it's like you're trying to read contracts when you haven't learned the basis of how the contracts were put together. And so what I'm looking to do is take every single individual component piece of what the exam questions are testing and teach you those separately first so that once you're actually getting into those exams, you'll know what it is that they're testing you on. So I'm giving you the concepts separately, like the the article that Ricky was referencing, like that is an article covering very fundamental logic concepts that will help you in a certain kind of grouping logic game, as well as actually in logical reasoning as well. Like those concepts, co- concepts come up across different exam sections and different question types. And so if you could learn what a contrapositive is, and then some of the incorrect logical mistakes you could make that students typically do make, myself included, back when I was studying, I made those very same mistakes, like taking the mistaken reversal or the mistaken negation, improperly translating the contrapositive. And those are like things that are fundamental to our human wiring that the exam makers know about. And so we kind of have to deliberately unteach ourselves the bad habits or the the bad tendencies in favor of what's actually going to lead to success. And so that's what's underlying my study plans. That's That's what's underlying my courses as well. And the review process I recommend, the Socratic review method, will help you systematically learn from your mistakes so that when you make a mistake, you will see exactly what led to it specifically if it was in the passenger stimulus, the question stem, the answer choices as well, so that when you see another question, even if it's on a totally different concept, you won't fall for that same mistake again. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.